Now as you recall when it comes to inserting a new slide you have various layouts to choose from. For example up at the top on the home tab to the slides group when I click on the new slide drop down arrow I've got these layouts down below like title and content where my title can be up at the top and content down below whereas when I click on one of these objects here you have six of them I can insert a table pictures clip art and so on. Content with caption the captions over the left hand side and my contents over the right. Now if I don't find what I'm looking for here I can create my own custom slide layout where for example I could put my content up at the top here and the text box down below. Click off in a blank area. To get started I want to go to my slide master view. Now if you haven't watched the training video on slide master you want to watch that and as you recall the shortcut to get to the slide master view is coming down here on the window frame holding down the shift key and clicking on the normal button takes me right to the slide master. How do I know? Well, there's the slide master tab there. And as you recall, up at the top we have our main slide master, and then down below in the hierarchical structure that's all tied to the main slide master are these varying layouts. In fact, when I hover over them, as you recall, it'll give you the name of the layout, that screen tip, title slide layout, title and content. Well, I want my own. So to create my own, I can come up here on the slide master tab to the edit master group and click on insert layout. Inserts a new layout slide down below. When I hover over it, it's custom. I haven't really done anything to it yet, and later on I'll give it a name. But for right now, that I have it selected, I'm going to come over here and make some changes. First thing I want to do is, well, click in the title box here and click on the border and hit the delete key on the keyboard because I don't want it there. Or maybe I do, but maybe I want it bigger. Now PowerPoint has what are called placeholders a place where you can actually stick your content or your text boxes. In fact, up at the top here on the Slide Master tab, the Master Layout group, when I click on Insert Placeholder, you have your content, which includes not only text, but also picture, chart, table, smart art, everything down below. Or you can just have text, or you can just have a picture or chart. Well, let's do text first. Click on it. My pointer changes to a plus sign that when I click and drag, it'll create my text box, where I can add text, even bullets here. How about for content? Well, let me click on the insert placeholder, go to content, and then click and drag about yay big. The content can include text, or if I don't include text when I'm in the normal view, I can click on the table button to insert a table, a chart, smart art, clip art, movies, and so on. Or let me insert another placeholder here, and let's just do clip art. Click and drag. There we go. So the only thing I can put in this placeholder when I'm back in the normal view is by clicking on the clip art button and inserting clip art. So there, I got my custom layout. And instead of having the custom layout name, the default, you can see it there in the screen tip, I'm going to come up here and click on Rename. And you can call it whatever you'd like, you know, my spiffy layout. But to keep it simple, there is one text box and two contents here. So I'll call it Text. Click Rename. Then when I come over here, you can see it's text and two content. Pretty cool. OK. I'm done here. I like my custom layout. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the master view. And I'm going to insert a new slide with my new custom layout. Come up here, click on the new slide drop down arrow, and there it is. Text and two content. Click on it. It inserted it between slides one and three here. So over here, I can click up, add some text, convert it to bullets. Down here, add some more text, or click on one of the buttons here to add a table, chart, smart art, or over here to add clip art. Click on it, opens up the task pane here, and well, let's choose that. That looks nice. In any case, now you have a way to create your own custom slide layouts. Now keep in mind that if you don't like your custom slide layout and you want to delete it, you have to make sure that it's not applied to any one of these slides. And how do you know it's applied to a slide? Well, if it gets confusing here, then what you can do is you can go back to the master slide by holding down the shift key and clicking on the normal button. And when you hover over your custom layout, you can see it says it's being used by two slides. Well, in any case, if I go back to my normal view, click on normal, and let's just delete slide two. Let's go ahead and right click on it, and well, you can cut it or hit the delete key, that works as well. Okay, so it's no longer there, that layout. So if I go back to my master slide view by holding down the shift key and clicking on normal, it was this last one here, right? Let me hover over it. Text and two content says it's being used by no slides, so having selected it, I can hit the delete key and it gets rid of it. 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.